All right, everyone. Um, I've decided to make a new channel, and this new channel is basically out of pure spite to that pervert up in Carlisle. Uh, we've had a little bit of back and forth on that um, TikTok, and although he keeps calling me out for fights, he seems to think I'm using him to make a name for myself, and I'm trying to get a channel. Now, my YouTube I've had, I've had for 10 years, my original one, I've only got about four or five um, videos on there, and it's basically all in response to him asking me for a fight. So just out of spite, I'm going to start this YouTube channel just to piss him off. Um, and it's going to be called The Raw Honest Truth. And basically, I'm just going to be reviewing things and giving me honest, brutal opinion about stuff. Today's video will be about a fight I called Bash. Fakuru or something, I can't pronounce his second name. And then he was Ben the fight. He's now doing no rules fighting. Um, but again on this channel, it's not just going to be about fighters, I know I've got a fighting background, um, I will review anything, whether it be YouTube content or other platform content, I'll review items, if you want to send us an item, I'll review it, if you want to send us a bit of technology, I'll review your technology, or if you, you have something you want us to, to review, I will review it, but I'll be brutally honest. Um, if you could send us food, I'll definitely review food. That's my favourite thing. Anyhow, um, let's get back to Bash. Now, if you don't know Bash, Bash, like I said earlier, really, he's a, he's a bare-knuckle boxer. I'm pretty sure he was a kickboxer to begin with. Uh, he likes, likes to throw lots of flashy kicks and looks great on the pads. He's got all the moves, but he just doesn't dance like Jagger, does he? He's got... Uh, He's got the fancy spinning kicks, he's got the the ripped muscles, likes to rip his top off, he's got the pat eye, he likes to think he's a bit of a psychopath, I think. He puts on a funny voice with a stupid laugh. He just can't win fights, that's his problem. What now? Flying to Germany, um, so we'll see. Today, tomorrow, uh, whenever he wants it, he can have it. Um, fight, we'll see, get this done. <laughs> Long. <laughs> now we as a, I'm an electrician we have this analogy um, with people you know DIYers so you get a DIYer and as a sporty we would say would rather you knew nothing than knew a little bit because you're more dangerous if you know a little bit and what that means is if you're a DIYer you know nothing about electricity you'll not touch it but if you know that tiny little bit about electricity you'll have a go and what happens is you have a go and you're probably you're doing it wrong and while you're doing it wrong you're going to put yourself in danger um stupidly you might put your family in danger or somebody that you've done the job for now this is exactly the same with bash bash knows a little bit about fighting looks great on the pads but he's got no timing no balance you, you find bash tends to get caught because he over commits and he shot someone, he's over committed, he falls in. And then, especially on these no rules fights, they end up just picking him up, slamming him on the deck. And he ends up just giving up. And I'll show you a couple of these fights. They're not the greatest. He doesn't want to win. looked at the amount of fights Bash has had, I'm pretty sure Bash has only won one fight. And I've seen him have maybe two or three bare knuckle fights, just purely bare knuckle boxing. As soon as he gets tapped on the chin, that's it. He's over, he gives up. Once I've seen him get up a couple of times, but I mean, on the on the last one, he just, that's it. He gives up really. I don't think he gets hit on the third down. That first knockdown is, the, and then there. 12, you right? Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so the one fight that I did see Bash win, um, he actually knocked his opponent out the day before. 
and um, what he's done is they went into the stair, stair down, you have a weigh-in, stair down the day before. Bosch has decided to give his opponent a quick one-two, knocked him out, the next day he went and finished him off on the fight. Really, the fight should have been stopped. Um, should never have went ahead, really. If he'd been knocked out, he shouldn't fight for 30 days, but um, do you call that a win? I think it's cheating, really. It's not very noble, is it? It's not very sportsmanlike. Um, if that's how you've got to win, are you really a fighter? I don't think that you're a winner. <laughs> When you get to his no rules fights, he keeps. I mean, he's trying to make a bit of a name for himself on another thing, but like, turns up, doesn't care. That's all he got. I don't care, win or lose. No rules, there's no rules. Turns up, tries to bite someone's yard off. As soon as the coach of an eye gives up. Ready? Let's go! Oh, yeah, it's I've seen him on a couple of fights. I mean, that one he had on the bridge, I, th I think that was that Robbie Brown, Caddy Kid. He's lunged in with a shot, Robbie's ducked underneath, picked him up, slammed him, chinned him. <coughs> um, I've seen him have a fight in an ice rink and he comes in with all these spinning back kicks, kind of land him. He's got no timing, doesn't know how to land him properly. He just thinks it's a pad and it's not going to move. Eventually, I think the kid hits him with a liver kick, catch him with another one. Hits him with a couple of shots and then bash, that's it. He's on the floor, he's crying nearly, screaming in pain. Five! It was about four weeks, maybe six weeks ago, Bash was meant to go to Germany and have a fight. And then I remember there was a video on it and it was a Bash and he met his opponent the day before the fight. His opponent looked like a big lad. Now Bash didn't try to sly him or knock him out the day before because I think in Bash's eyes, you see that he's, um, sorry, I went at you back. He's um, popped his pants really and as he's grabbed his opponent, his opponent's grabbed him as well. And you hear Bash say, for he felt strong. We um, had the face off yesterday, didn't go to plan if I'm honest, little brawling about, but like pub for him really, I'm honest. I'm very used to that. Was he strong, yeah. Now later on that night, in Germany, Bash has actually travelled over to Germany to have this fight. The Germans have come to his hotel room, fights meant to be three in the morning. Bash is nowhere to be seen. So what's happened is Bash has actually escaped, he's nicked off and he's went back to England. And his excuse at the time was the authorities have gotten in touch and um, if he was to go through with the fight, he's gonna get arrested. Now Bash has went back this weekend. Now I'm pretty sure if the authorities warned you not to have the fight and if you were going to have the fight they would, they would have marked your card and as soon as your passport went into Germany they would have been back and they would have said right you're having a fight you're coming here for the wrong reason and he would have been rearrested. so for me if I'm being brutally honest I would have said Bash you shit your pants on the first time around now to give Bash a little bit of credit he's come back on the second time and they've gotten him in the hotel room and I got sent this video. Hey bro, this time you come, you will fight, and then we will see. But you cannot leave the country without fighting. This time, I'll fight. I'll fight. Okay? Don't worry about that, Don't worry about that man. I'm here to fight. Fuck you. Because you have a new neighbor. Yeah. It's him. He stays with you in the room. Yeah. He stays with me? I'll yeah. fight him in a minute. Exactly. Whatever you want it, I'll have it. Exactly. Okay. They've got an armed guard watching him. And he's standing there with a little pistol. And he's, um, he's basically being told if you try to escape this time, he's going to stop you. And if I'm honest, 
I think if I was put in the same situation as Bush, I would have cuckered my punch straight away. I would have been shit dropping out the end of my punch. Now, I think he's already scared of his opponent, but now he's been told if you do try to run away, there's an armed man going to shoot you if you do try to run away. Now, in the back of your mind, you've got to be thinking, now I will be thinking this, in the back of my mind, even if I turn up for the fight and I win the fight and I knock the kid out, am I going to get shot? So you've got these little things going on with Bash's mindset before the fight. And anyways, Bash has put a video on and he's basically saying, got knocked out straight away, can't remember the fight, and the kid's elbowed his face off. And he, he's quite open about when he gets beat. He, if he wins, he puts it on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And if he gets beat, um, he also puts it on, I mean, he's not winning very many. When he's getting beat, he puts it straight on. He's got no shame in it. He thinks it's, he doesn't give a fuck about what the outcome is. He's a fighting man, he's turned up. No, a fighting man, yeah, you're turning up, but you're not even close to winning, you're falling over. To me, in my raw, honest opinion, you're a journeyman. You're turning up, you're trying to get a bit of clout and you're, you're falling over like a bum. I mean, that's my raw, honest opinion about it. Now, if I were you, the same as what I would tell a non-electrician who's trying to do electrics, I would say, Bash, you're going to have to give this game up. It's like, yeah, in a game where the rules are you've got to bite each other, you've got to eye gouge. Now, I know you're giving up quite quick, but last night I think you got taught a lesson, you got knocked out, and he continued elbow you in the face. So you're taking elbows and you don't know you're taking them. Now, what if he had bit your nose off? You cannot actually then show, I give up, you're knocked out. And I think if you continue down this line, you're going to end up either with an eye missing, a bit of nose missing, or maybe he's one of your ears gone. And someone's going to have a, a full tummy, they're going to eat all your nose or something. So um, I really think it's in your best interest to give up. You can't actually fight. You want to be a fighter, and you've got the attitude and the, the swagger. You just can't mix it up, son. So... My raw, honest opinion, give up fighting before you hurt yourself. Um, and that's my review for the day. I will have another review tomorrow. Um, it'll be something different. I'll review something tomorrow, and if it's good, I'll tell you it's good, and if it's shit, I'll tell you it's shit. Cheers. I'm back now. Lost the fight, but uh, yeah, I can't remember a lot because they uh, knocked me out. Um, <laughs> knocked me out, elbowed me, elbowed me to pieces. Um, 